Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm still here in Vienna looking at some wonderful boutique hotels. And right now I'm in the uh, Holman Bel Etage, which is a really fun hotel right near the center of Vienna. I'm with uh, Tamara Bellinger, who is the general manager for this wonderful property. And we just had a little tour around it. I'm not staying here, but I want to stay here, believe me, after this. Uh, it's really a, a wonderful, it's quirky, but really in a fun way. A lot of great features. And if you get a tour by Tamara, she can show you all around. And we're going to show you all around right now on Insider Travel Report. Now, Tamara, first of all, thank you so much for this great tour, and we had a nice breakfast, too. And this is really a fun, fun property. First of all, tell us where we are, because actually I had a little trouble finding it, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, James. Um, thanks for having us here today. Um, yeah, we're located directly in the city center, just a few steps away from St. Stephen's Cathedral, actually. So I know it's a hidden place, but it's also a very quiet um, side street, actually, in the city center. So although we're very centrally located, you can still find a quiet uh, rest during the night yeah, um, no, at Hormann Belletage. Yeah, yeah, and it is really, it is really, you, 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 I passed it once, I said, where is it? Then I finally saw the building, and then once you get in the building and you go upstairs, you have to go up to the second floor, I believe. Yes, to, to Belletage, actually. Belletage, that's yes. it. Yes. So that's it. So there, and you only, you're only really on two floors, but that's, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about that. So um, t talk, tell about the history of the hotel, and, and first of all, who owns it? Because that's a very interesting story, too. Yes, so um, the hotel actually was um, opened almost 20 years ago. So mm -hmm. this year in October, it's our 20 years anniversary. Okay. Um, it was founded by Robert Holman, and he's actually not from the hotel industry. And also, he doesn't really like to call Holman Belletage a hotel. He rather calls it a place of entertainment. Okay. Um, you have already seen why, I think. Yeah. I hope so. And um, yeah, he's actually an actor. So he he was uh, playing at a theater in Germany, in Austria, and um, he's also a trained pastry chef. Yeah, I saw that. I, in <laughs> fact, you serve a pastry here that apparently he said, oh, that's the right pastry, and it turned out to be from the place that he, for, he, he learned how to do pastries, right? Exactly, yes. Um, it's uh, a pink petit four we call Punschkrapfel here in okay. Vienna. It's very famous for the city. Um, yeah, and Robert is He's a really fun person. He's very extrovert. Um, sometimes when we walk um, in, this, in the streets of Vienna, because we have an appointment just we um, discussing some business, um, uh, our guests come up to him and like, oh, you're the guy from the hotel. <laughs> oh, I recognize you from the video. It's like this because he's very recognizable. He's right. very... He's a very nice uh, person, very passionate about what he's doing. Um, well, I can yeah. understand, and you have a, uh, you're talking about it, your sister properties. One is in Sri Lanka, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. It's called uh, Underneath the Mango Tree, um, okay. UT Empty, and it's by the seaside, and an Ayurvedic um, hotel. Um, very special place as well. Um, not the Holman Belletage, because we're with the focus on the Viennese um, experience, but UTMT just focuses on the Ayurvedic treatments, uh, Sri Lankan traditions, um, furniture is from there, a lot of handmade stuff there. And then, but also you have some pro other properties in the Austrian countryside too, right? Yeah, there's um, actually three apartments, three huts in the um, countryside in Carinthia, so the thousand part of Austria in the mountain area. Um, very cozy, they can fit up to 10, 12 people depending on which of the huts you choose. And then we have one apartment um, in Trieste in Italy. So that's a pretty big chain for, for someone who's sort of dabbling in, in, <laughs> in hospitality, but that's great. Now let's talk about this property and how many rooms do you have here? We only have 26 rooms, so it's actually 25 rooms and one suite. Mm -hmm. um, very cozy, very familiar atmosphere here. We have lots of frequent guests, so we really know what they want and which coffee they have for breakfast, you know, all the small details. Yeah, so then the other thing is the decor of this hotel is pretty unique, uh, uh, both rooms and the public areas, right? Yes, definitely. So 
yeah, I think this is why he chose the name Place of Entertainment. Right. Um, people really use the common areas. We have a very nice living room where we're at uh, right now. Um, there's an in-house cinema. Yeah, it's a, it's a very small cinema, but they, you, you, whatever you want to watch, you can watch here. And now we're in, right next door, we're in this kind of common area, game room, a library, uh, and also access to a terrace, uh, an outdoor garden, right? Yes, in the middle of the city center. Nobody would expect that. Yeah, and it is it's just sort of a little alcove. And then upstairs you have where you do breakfast and all, uh, which was a great breakfast, by the way. That was a lot of fun and is a great place. But then you have a special uh, uh, serving in the afternoon. And tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> yes. Um, so in the afternoon we serve um, our traditional meatloaf, which is called Leberkäse here in Austria, and beer. Um, this is included for all our guests. Right. So no surcharges for that. And people, they really love that. They take a break from sightseeing, or from their program, just to get back on time to get their Leberkäse and beer. Really important time of the day. It's, it's, it's their, their tea, if you yeah. will. And so, oh, yeah. so we replaced tea and crumpets and tea and scones with Leberkäse and beer, which, okay, let's try it. Okay, that sounds great. I have to come back for that one because I'm too early. It's apparently later at three o'clock, right? So yes. Now, each of these rooms is really interesting. I mean, you have some, some canopied beds, they're modern. Uh, some, other, some beds are in the middle of the room. You have standing tubs, you have mm -hmm. huge showers. I, every suite is different, right? Yes, well, yeah. They have like, it's a homey feeling, I would say. Yeah. It's not a typical um, hotel feeling. Um, it's very cozy. Um, we know what our guests want, so if you're new, to Harman Belletage, just get in touch with us directly so we can also help you finding the perfect room actually for your needs, for your wishes. Right. Um, yeah. well, some, 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 you can have families, there's some that will sleep four people, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, lots of families come visit us also. Three, uh, maybe four people can fit in one room depending on the size. Um, yeah. It is a very special place and very kind of interesting. It, it feels like, as we're here, we feel like we're in a living room. Uh, you feel like you're in your own home. People use it and just hang out in the mornings as I came in and saw it and then we had lovely breakfast there and and the sh you see an, sort of an open kitchen there mm -hmm. uh, and it really is can you or you can you can have breakfast for free in your room right yes there's no surcharge for that actually our breakfast is um, one of the highlights at Holman Belletage so it's a served breakfast um, we only have a small buffet but uh, the main parts are freshly prepared upon request and just brought to your table so you don't have to get up in the morning and fight for the last croissant maybe not gonna happen at Holman well, you said some people sort of show up in their pajamas or something. Yes, <laughs> they feel so comfortable here. Sometimes we see them in their pajamas at breakfast, but I rather take it as a compliment. That's, that's it, because <laughs> it really is a homey feel, and it really is a very different kind of boutique hotel. Um, now, you're not part of any group right now. You're not small luxury or anything like that. No, no, I, I, as much as I, I think maybe you should be, because it is is a way that our our travel advisors can mm -hmm. book you, but you have to book with you directly, right? Yes. Yeah, so, just so that they, they could do that. Uh, so, uh, what is the experience you want guests to come away uh, from from this from this hotel? What what should they come away with, and what would you tell my travel advisors uh, to tell their clients to expect? Uh, an amazing breakfast, amazing uh, service. So our stuff is really lovely, and they we're still in touch with the people. You know, it's about people here. It's not a machine, a check-in counter, whatever. Um, it's tailor-made service, I would say. And we, we're just all really passionate about what we do. So we just really want the guests to feel completely comfortable here, whether it's for business or it's, it's their holidays. They should just feel at ease and experience also a little bit of the Viennese um, coziness, you know, Wiener Gemütlichkeit. That's okay. Well, I, you, you can say it, I, can, I can't, <laughs> but that's another story. But it, it is really such a cozy, livable hotel, and it's right off, you know, you're, you're right near the center of town, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, as everybody who's been to Vienna knows in the Steven Plaza and all that area. Uh, is, is where I know, but I've never been to this hotel, so it's been interesting. Now, anything else you want to say, say to our 112,000 travel advisors about the hotel? Yes, so we're um, focusing more and more on sustainability as well. Right. So last October, our um, breakfast was organically certified. We have really, really good suppliers that all come from the area. Um, we've also visited some of them. For example, our coffee is roasted here in Vienna. It's still manufactured and 
yeah, we're just um, really proud actually to be able to offer this to our guests. Yeah, so you're saying local foods, local coffee, which actually Viennese coffee is wonderful. So that's lo local Lieben, Lieben? Leberkäse. Leberkäse. I got to get that right. The meat, meatloaf. All right. Meatloaf, That's why yeah. like that. And so you can do that in local beer, of course, which is yeah. more important. So I'll be back for that a little later, but we'll see what happens. But uh, where can travel advisors go to learn more about this property? We, you can check out our website, our um, Instagram. And other than that, just um, contact us. You can get in touch with me if you want to. And what are the contact points for? What's the URL for? Um, it's crazyholman.com. Crazy Holman. Okay. Crazy, yes, because we're all crazy for you. <laughs> this is our motto, actually, crazy for you. That's great. Well, In that's all uh, the places of uh, entertainment. I thought you were going to give me a long <laughs> URL, but Crazy Holman, no. is a, that's that's the way to do it. But it, it, it is a little crazy, but it really is a lot of fun. That's the other thing is you're going to stay in a place that it really uh, sort of doesn't take itself too seriously, right? No, definitely uh, not. And, and, and really has got this wonderful livable spaces that are surprising. Uh, again, uh, Tamara, I want to thank you for showing me around. I didn't get a chance to stay here, but uh, next time I come, next I got to get stuff, if only for the uh, meatloaf and beer. Yes, please come visit us again, James. It was a pleasure showing you around. Thank you very much. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>